So Jay, a couple of months ago, Ice Cube released this contract with Black America. He was actually set social media off by storm because some people received it positively, some people received it negatively um, in some different areas. And so what he did and what we've seen is that he actually met with both the Biden campaign as well as the Trump campaign about this contract. And so his response from the Biden campaign was that they would have to wait until after the election. And he met with the Trump campaign and they were actually able to make some adjustments in real time. So how do you feel about this particular, I'm going to say political move, even though it may not be, but how do you feel about that conversation, that discussion and what came out of that meeting between Ice Cube and the Trump campaign? Oh, man. <laughs> no, I got that. Um, I had a text message yesterday um, about that. And I was like, wow. I didn't know how true it was, but then I got a follow-up text message of Ice Cube's tweet saying that he met with both parties. It was very interesting. Um, I believe he met with the Democratic Party first, and um, I think it was a bad decision for um, the Biden-Harris uh, campaign to not make an adjustment or... Just, just to basically say wait to after the election. Um, because the truth of the matter is to most individuals, they're going to say that's more of the same. You know, once we get elected, once you give us what we want, we'll get, we'll give you what you want. And for the most part, that usually doesn't happen. <laughs> you know, and the Trump campaign, again, if he did meet, well, he did meet with them and they accepted we don't know if gonna get, they're going to give black people it either. However, I think they were smart enough to know not to tell him no. <laughs> um, now they could still stiff black people right afterwards, but I think that was they're smarter <laughs> than that to know, smart enough to know not to say no at that particular point. And so, um, wow, man, we're just going to have to see. My opinion on it is that, like, I saw people talking about he sold out, so I don't feel like he sold out. I think that at the end of the day, Ice Cube's a businessman. Donald Trump's a businessman. A lot of people might not agree with his business tactics, but he is a businessman nevertheless. And it's just something you saw business happen, not politics. That's what I feel. I saw I think you saw a business transaction, not politics. You know, politics has a different level of playing, different rules. And um Donald Trump has been messing up those rules from the time he got in office. He threw all those rules out of the window. And um, I think people still playing with the, outdated, with the outdated rules and playing cards with the outdated deck. And then I had to, you know, get on, get on this level because people are, you know, thinking on another wavelength. And it's definitely the Democratic Party needs to get to a point where they're thinking on that different wavelength and about really trying to make some change. Now, we're not talking about the people that's on the ground that's working and, and really making it happen that you're never going to hear about, um, you know, trying to do what's right for their communities and everything like that. But we're talking about these change agents, these huge lawmakers that's playing footsie with people's lives and with the, and with the lives of the communities like the black community, Latinx community, things like that. Um, they're going to have to really, really think because as people get more and more, as they say, woke or more and more knowledgeable about what's going on, they're not they're not seeing things that they like and they're starting to be aware of it. And so this is just the first of possible many changes because nobody would ever expect someone like Ice Cube to go with something like this. It would have been like the Democrats didn't take it and then, OK, well, we don't sit back and cry about it or whatever, but move on. I just think that he was like, well, I'm going to get something done. And in business, they always say, you know what I'm saying? Make a decision. You know, indecision is better than wrong decision. So he made a choice. He made a decision. And he and he exercised his right to do business with whoever was willing to do business with him. If they are willing to do business and, and accept his proposal, it is what it is. Um, I think that we shouldn't, you know, call him a sellout. I think we should sit back and hold on to our seats and watch and see what happens on November 4th.
Yeah, and I, I don't know if, do you think that the Black community or those that were following Ice Cube saw this as something legit? Do you think they really understood the seriousness of it, that, that he would take it all the way to the White House? Well, I don't know what they saw, <laughs> um, but it's real. It's here now. Um, I mean, this is unprecedented. This is not something, you know, it has no precedent behind this, like, no, I don't mean too many people was doing stuff like this. Um, again, but this has been that type of year. 2020 has been that type of year, man. You know, where a lot of things that you can't even explain has happened and still, you know, it's happening now. So, wow, we only we got a few more months. We got a couple more months to go. What can happen? What will happen? You know, um, the last couple months, it's a possibility that a lot is going to happen that we've never seen before. <laughs> You know, we only dreamed about or thought about. And um, people are just sitting back watching like, wow, you know, what's the, what's next? This is a saga, you know, the reality show that 2020 is, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's the fourth quarter, we call it the fourth season, you know, of 2020. And um, we'll see, man. But this, this has been, you know, I'm happy because we're going to see something. And not be, you know, left in the lurch trying to figure out. We're going to see something after this. Like, we're going to see if they... I think what Ice Cube did was put people in position to where they really see... To let us as a people, black people, see who's really with us and who isn't. Who isn't. Signing that bill or, or, or growing with them doesn't mean that the Republican Party is with the black community. Because they can do that and still not do anything. But if they ride... And do what they do, everything that they say they're gonna do. It's gonna be hard to for the Democratic Party to come back and say what was happening all these years prior. It's gonna be hard for that to happen. I mean, extremely hard. So, and if the Democratic Party win, lose, or draw, if they win and they don't still want to work with Ice Cube, then that's gonna say a lot about them because it's gonna be like, you know, oh, you vindictive. Oh, you, you you know, you really wasn't trying to get this done? So it's going to be a lot of that going on, man. So I'm glad that something happened because everybody talk about stuff and nothing really happened. Something happened this time. The man set out to do something. He got it done. People can say whatever they want to say from the bench, but he did something. And it's always the people who are not doing anything who got the loudest voice to say <laughs> about what someone else is doing because they might not like it or, or appreciate it or approve it. He did something. He wasn't just a rapper who sat on the sideline, got on the sideline, got in the game. How he played, that's totally on him. But I'm, I just congratulate that he did something. We, you know, we'll see what happens on November 4th.